Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you guys a video. Um, you see, um, since I've been to Florida, I've been a little bit behind with my um, WWE Network videos. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I haven't watched that I have to catch up on the uh, Jerry Splinter Too Hot for TV, and I have to catch up on um, the Unfiltered with Renee Young. Um, I want to start watching the WWE list, and I'm gonna watch the Swerved thing. Um, but I'm gonna go by quant I'm gonna go chronological because I've been kind of falling back ever since I came to Florida, which you know makes sense. Why? But I just want to sit in my room and watch WWE or just wrestling videos all day. Um, so I'm gonna start with uh, WWE Joey Splinter presents Too Hot for TV first. And then I'm just going to go chronologically. Um, this one actually came out before I came to Florida, but I didn't really want to watch it or record the video at it, the time, so I'm doing it now. Um, so this episode um, is called um, Bloopers and Blunders. And this is going to be pretty much all of the mistakes that has ever happened in the WWE. Um, and I'm just going to... Well, stuff that was just bad, I guess. You know, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so it first shows the DX band performing at WrestleMania 14. And they were performing um, America the Beautiful and the National Anthem. Um, and they did it like the way that DX would when their theme song goes off. And if you don't know who's in DX... Um, it consists of Triple H, Shawn Michaels, the New Age Outlaws, the Low Dog, Jesse James, um, and the badass Billy Gunn of the New Age Outlaws, um, China, X Pac, and Ravishing Rick Rude um, for a little while. And um, yeah, DX, they were just performing the band and they pretty much kind of, they it, it wasn't good. Um, and Jerry Splinter actually said that this part of the um, of them performing at WrestleMania 14 wasn't on wasn't released when WrestleMania 14 went out on uh, VCR. So that's kind of and I can see why, but that's kind of good to know. Um, and um, I kind of wonder. He he also said you can't find any of this stuff on the WWE Network. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. So then it shows all of Mean Gene Okerlund's bloopers, and he had a lot of bloopers. Um, I'm not gonna, gonna gonna go into them. One blooper that happened is when he was interviewing Ravishing Rick Rude and Bobby the Brain Heenan, and um, like he was reviewing them at like some sort of like show, and the logo for the show was right behind him, and it just falls, and he swears about it. He says. What the fuck or something like that. It was really funny. He also does stuff like uh, when uh, Miss Elizabeth was on the cover um, of a magazine. And um, he t talks to one of the camera crew and he's like, here, go play with that or something. That was funny. Um, and um, what, else hap what else has happened? Um, when um, he was talking to Kamala and he was talking about how Kamala was getting lucky, he did that one. Um, when uh, he would just laugh out of nowhere when uh, he was interviewing like Sergeant Slaughter or Hulk Hogan. Um, and uh, what else? Um, I think that's it. Um, like there's other ones, but I don't remember all of them. I think there's a like more he comes out um doing like a thing where he's gonna talk to vince mcmahon or something like that and he comes out and he kind of trips that was that when he went to do his interview segment and he had like a v went on the attire he was wearing and uh he said those are the family jewels but a lot of funny moments for me and gene oakland um and uh, i don't remember all of them but uh yeah those are like the ones i can remember off the top of my head but it's totally worth checking out. You can probably find like that on the network on, on this episode. Or probably they 
I'm assuming someone made like a YouTube video about it. Um, and um, now we have some microphone mishaps. Just when people have botched on the microphone and messed up their words. It shows Teddy Lawn when he's cutting a promo with uh, John Laurinaitis. And he's trying to say um, like uh, that SmackDown was like the most run an episodic show. Well, the second most run in, run in pretty much what I just did. Um, and he shows um, when Sid, I don't know if he was Sid, Vi Sid Vicious or Sid Justice at the time. But, or Psycho Sid, but when uh, Psycho Sid was trying to cut a promo and he was like backstage live and normally they tape the backstage promos, but this one was actually like real, like live. And he's like, let's do, let's do this again. And he's like, oh, you can't, it's live. And then he just continues with his promo. And all of the mishaps that Mike Adam Lee would do when he was on commentary, um, which was funny. And um, they did more mishaps. Um, the mishap that Hulk Hogan did at WrestleMania 30 when he said the uh, Silver Dome instead of the Super Dome. Um, and then uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock came out and, you know, um, pretty much uh, gave him shit about it. Um, there was somebody else. Um, they showed some like physical ones, like uh, when Stone Cold Steve Austin was walking backstage and he kind of just laughed. When um, Spike, when the Dudleys, which was Bubba Ray Dudley, Devon Dudley, and Spike Dudley, um, were all like walking out of the locker room and Devon went the wrong way. <laughs> um, and um, what else has happened? Um, can't remember anything else. Um, but then they showed some live ones, like when Matt Hardy went to do his pose when he was with Justin Gabriel and he died and he fails and goes over the woke. When Vince McMahon was trying to catch the chicken and the chicken wouldn't go anywhere, so they had to like, so it didn't work out for him. And it was when Vince McMahon was training so he could compete, so he could, because uh, he was going to be like the first one with Stone Cold Steve Austin and the Royal Rumble match. Um, then, um, what else did they show? Um, they showed, um, what else did they show? Um, when someone tried to do like a flip over the top rope and they just failed. I don't remember who it was though. Um, when Shawn Michaels tried to get his pyro to go off and it didn't really work out for him. When Shelton Benjamin tried to dive on Carlito, but he like kind of was tripped midair, but luckily he still kind of was able to land enough on Carlito where he didn't like injure himself. Um, when Kane was attacking Triple H backstage and he choke slammed him into the um, the um, trunk of the car, and then he went to drive away, and Triple H wasn't like supposed to be able to get out, but he they lifted the trunk, which was awesome. Um, so stuff like that. Um, I think there's more, but I don't remember the others off the top of my head. Um, and then they show GTV, which if you don't know what it was, it was back in the, like, the Attitude Era when it was just started. And they had GTV, and it was all in black and white. And, you can, and there was like hidden cameras all over the arena, so anybody could get caught doing something like embarrassing. And it shows it with like Al Snow picking his nose. Um, Val Venus was with like the big show, and... Um, Big Show, um, Val Venus looks, they're like taking a piss in the bathroom and Val Venus looks at him and he says, I can see why they call you the Big Show, you know, referencing how big his dick is. And then Big Show, um, throws Val Venus into the, um, bathroom stall. And then, um, when Mark Henry and D'Lo Brown were in the bathroom and Mark Henry just got done taking a shit. Um, and then, um, when... Um, Albert and Prince, I forget his name, but, uh, his, his first name was Prince Blanchard or something like that. Um, he, uh, they were going to be like hoes for the Godfather for the night. And it showed like that, like backstage and how P the Prince liked, it, loved it. Stuff like that. It was pretty cool. And then it shows after the show, um, like what happens after the show. 
and it shows some things like Stone Cold Steve Austin how always would you know drink his beers, which was nothing new, but he really used to do it, and he would say, um, "Don't worry, guys, I have a designated driver driving me home," and then um, Stone Cold Steve Austin would always do it with like Lillian Garcia, and it shows a pic then like him like he's gonna propose to her like ask her the Miriam. But instead he says, can I have another beer? And he's like, I'm not that drunk. So that was funny. Then it shows some world world malfunctions. Um, it shows Jacqueline. Um, I think Sable went to pull Jacqueline's, Jacqueline when she was attacking the ref. And her, like, her shirt comes off and her tits are exposed. The same thing happens to... Um, Not Sable. No, it wasn't Sable. The same thing happens to her when she tries to brawl with Stephanie McMahon. A world world malfunction when uh, Razor Ramon tries to pull Shawn Michaels off the ladder and his ass gets exposed. I think I reviewed that match, so I think I mentioned it. The same thing happens when Mr. Kennedy tries to do a roll-up to Ric Flair. Um, and then it shows the, um, the, se the uh, segment when uh, somebody stole Christian... And Chris Jericho, who were a tag team at the time, they were one point um, world tag team champions. Um, and they somebody stole their clothes, and they were like naked. And it was none other than the Dudley Boys, and they'd find their ass cream. And then they came out to the ring, and nobody was coming out to get their stuff. So they just throw their stuff in the crowd. That was really funny. And then afterwards, um, they uh, Spike Dudley exposes um, their... Um, you know, takes the tiles off and they're naked and then Christian kind of runs the opposite direction so you could see him na getting naked which was funny and that was um the, like the end of the episode pretty much but this was really funny stuff I like to see the blooper stuff and like I said I like to watch this show because you get to see all the past stuffs in the uh, WWE um stole a lot of stuff from the Hogan era and the Attitude era so that just proves right there that those were two great eras, and the nowadays eras are pretty much like shit. So that's just what it proves to me. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching this video for those of you guys who did. And you can click right here to subscribe. And that's pretty much it, guys. See you later.